Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, Man Mick here. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Hello everybody, Man Mick got a new toy. Uh, I've got a daytime video when I pick the bike up. But I just wanted to look at it in the dark before I... So look at the brake lever there. The actual uh, graphics on the bike are quite unique really. It's all built into the, the plastic and, and knackered and stuff before it's put on. But yeah, it's just a new little toy. I just want to show you the start-up sequence. You get two keys, in case you run out of battery, because it's an electric bike. You put the key in there to open the seat to take the battery out. And there's quite a lot of storage under there. I'll just show you quickly. There's a lock, so I'll put a lock on there, because you can lock the battery in position. And you can put a, like an open face helmet in there if you want to. Not a full face, but an open face. But the start it's got another key as well. Built into here. That you can take out. And you can actually slot it into there. If you lift that up, you can slot the key in there for some reason. I don't know why. But to start it up, if I got it right, you press that one. It unlocks this here. And it's going to mode. And that's it coming to life. Came to work, I'm going home on it. It's colour at night time and it's uh, black and white in the day. You've got two lots of lights at the front, which are quite bright when you think about it, <coughs> which are good. And the black, black clusters all together with the indicators there from the outside edge. Has your suspension on the front, just like the one link lever, like they do on the uh, Vespers, and two on the rear, 2,300 watt motor up to 3,000 watt max. The battery is 48 volts and it's 48 amperes. It's quite a big battery, really, when you think about it. I should switch on so I can put my key in my pocket, and I'll switch off, and I'll see you in a little minute. I am on, sorry. Right, the startup sequence. You've got to press the brake lever in, there's a mode button down here. You press that. Just tell it what mode you want. Supposedly. Right, so I'm in sport. I can press it for three seconds. In sport, it's ready to go now, so that's fine. We're in just 23 miles. And away we go. I can quite bite them lights ahead of me. There's nothing coming. I've got to come out this way because I can't open the big gary. The, the bike's not weighty enough to open the big body at work. And where we are going. What I like about this regarding to the new suspension and the front suspension on, uh, within NIU. It's a bit like this when you let go with one hand, but this is just so sweet when you let go. Just like you haven't really let go. Put that down. Uh, I like the wing mirrors. It's like this uh, overtake me now, but you can see so much out the wing mirrors, it's unbelievable. I don't filter because I'm not in London, so that's fine. And uh, I'm just toodling on now. 35 miles an hour, so it's, yeah, it's, it's going to be 38 miles an hour, I think, fast as 40 I got down here, on it, uh, but it should be fine. Uh, yeah, so I just wanted to do a little night ride, so you could see the actual bike in the night, the colours of the, of the screen, etc. Uh, I've got 76% battery left, I've got a range of another 22 miles, supposedly, but, yeah rocking and rolling, she's really nice. I like the fact that this, where well your legs are in the centre here, because you've got a big massive seat, wide seat, that actually you've got more leg protection for wind on the left and the right hand side down there, which is good. Um, the NIU doesn't have as much there, in respect it's not as wide at the front. Uh, oops. I'm not coming so much. Right. Yeah, some fast, fast me, wasn't it? Um, yeah, it's weird that one to come out of there that fast. Some guys sometimes. But it was not behind me. Yeah, only a bag up at the front. I can't put my phone down there, so everything just goes under the seat. I bang everything under the seat. 
and uh, away I go really. But for getting to work and back, you know, it's going to be a really good, good thing. And I think I spurted it out on the video I'm going to show you now, the daytime when I picked up the bike, that uh, what price I got the bike for. And I'll tell you it now, uh, I, there's an online uh, Piaggio dealer in uh, Shepherd's Bush, put one on eBay about four weeks ago, at starting price of 1,500 quid. And these bikes, the Feng Yang Chang version with the fancy paintwork, they're about uh, 2,700 plus on the road uh, and one guy had been on it and he got it for 1,000, well two guys must have been on it, he got it for 1,650 so I emailed the dealer and I said is that including all the on the road costs? He says yeah that's correct, we've got a uh, overstock situation, guys will keep sending them to us and uh, we're selling a few on. Anyway he's put another one up and it obviously the starting price was 1,000 500 start and I use just snipe, a sniping tool just to do it for the last 8 seconds and I put 1,700 bid on it and I won the bike for the starting bid of 1,005 they honoured it and I went to pick the bike up on Friday so I can't grumble, I've got a good bargain uh, I'll put the NIU M Plus Sport up for sale because uh, it's not been used now and this is obviously a little bit faster, so it's going to be more fun for me, don't lose as much speed going up hills and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to enjoy it. When you get to about anything over 24 miles an hour and you, de and you take your, f your hand off the throttle, you'll see there's three bars go up, that's it's collecting energy. And three bars on the bottom there. Um, it's not done by brake, or you know, I think I now use do it when you brake a little symbol comes up on the dash saying that it's, it's going into CARES operation. This one does it from 24 miles and above and slowly slows you down. You know, it was about a mile an hour, then another mile an hour, then another mile an hour. So anything over 24 miles an hour, when you come to decelerate by taking your foot, sorry, your hand off the throttle, like now, she goes into three bars green, which is deceleration mode, where it's recouping energy. So instead of putting energy in the back wheel, it's the back wheel is producing energy for the battery. Right, so just a little nighttime ride, and I'll now we'll show you my daytime pickup rider when I picked up the bike. Thank you all for subscribing, uh, it's uh, great. Uh, the Zontis videos, there's still loads I've got to do. Um, and over 1,500 videos in the place at the moment and uh, I'll do some more I'm going to work and talk about Zontis etc on this bike in the next few weeks so stay tuned please subscribe if you haven't already if you have thank you for joining our journey thank you very much uh, please like the videos I will see you all later this is Mad Mix sign of Tatty bye for now Hello everybody, well I'm down by the water in Putney, it's uh, a lovely sunny afternoon. I've just been down to the other side of the water um, to pick up a new toy. And it's going to be my work tool to get to work. I'm back just uh, looking at the river, enjoying the river by Putney. I managed to get over the bridge to get to this far back. But uh, now my new toy is to get to work and back. Uh, I have a 20 mile journey to work and uh, I've got a very 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 good price so I'll turn around and reveal my new toy are you ready? look it's a Piaggio one active and it's a Fen Chang Wang international edition it's all built in all this is built into the plastic so it's not like stickers or anything it's got a range of about 40 miles and uh, it's brand new, my little toy to get to work and back. So it's going to be fun. Lovely graphics on the bike. So I'll get her home and get her ACF fitted, etc. 2300 watt motor on the back, so she'll get about 38 miles per hour out of her. 
I think it has uh, 48 volt, 48 amp hours is the battery under the seat. Right, I'm going to crack on for a little bit of a ride and I'll speak to you all later. Ta ta bye. So, if I'm on, yes I'm on. You might be wondering why did I get this bike? Well, specifically this bike is, uh, I like things different anyway. And this bike is definitely different. The actual paintwork is superb. Sorry, sorry, I'm just following the direction. It's in my pocket, my phone, so I'm following the direction of them on my pocket. Um, yeah, there was an eBay auction for one of these, uh, started at 1,500, and a winner won it at 1,650. And when you think the 2,700 quid on the road, I emailed the uh, Central Bikes dealer and I said, hey, oops, um, why, you know, is this on full on the road cost at that kind of price that the guy is winning for? I said, yeah, it's fine. Continue straight, okay. Continue straight. Right, um, so, I, uh, they put another one up and they've got an overstock, so they put another one up. Starting price 1,500, I used just Snipe to, uh, to try and uh, get it at the last minute. I put 1,700 on, I thought, well, I might get it for that price, you never know. And uh, nobody bid on it, so my just Snipe bid was 1,500, they honoured it. Um, that was on the road cost, so I had to travel on three trains this morning to go get the bike. It's all registered to me and all the things done and dusted. And yeah, I've just got to find out where I'm going. Now, yeah, I, got, I know where I'm going now. Um, yeah, so I managed to get this bike for 1,500 quid, so I am never going to lose out. Even if I sold it, I wouldn't lose out on the bike. Um, the range is saying I've done six miles, I've got 27 mile range still left i'm in sports mode i am finally found out i think i've changed it to eco but the eco mode it sets off the same when it goes up to 20 miles an hour i haven't gone full blast in uh, sport mode it's got a reverse mode as well which i find interesting on such a small bike that i can push around it's got a reverse mode it's got a start stop there so it's just like a keel switch like a normal bike I've got a big thick wad of uh, instructions on what to, uh, you know, the booklet. They've done it in, good for me because I'm 64 years old, they've done it in like bigger print. And it's right thick, it's about that thick as a book. And uh, <laughs> I said to the bloke, I said, I'll better read it then without my glasses. So I've got to find out what this button here does. I'm not sure what that button there does yet. And, uh, yeah. There's a map button at the bottom so you can change the mapping from Eco to Sport. I'll just leave it in Sport, I think. Eco, Sport or Reverse. Well, Reverse. Uh, on the left hand side you've got your high and low beam. Automatic switches on it. It's got like side daytime running lights and then the front ones. The lights come on at night time and then the display changes it's adaptive display black and white during the day as you can see down there and then at night time it's full color it's a full color display and very good wide open mirrors that i can see really behind me which is which is excellent which will be as great for filtering but i don't filter them do I? i'm i'm not that that, that kind of a, my journey to work isn't that kind of thing. Then you've got your indicators, push to cancel, and your horn down below. And then there's a mode and a set button on there, I don't know what that is. I've got to have it interim service, in other words, there's a quick little look over the back, which would be very, very cheap at a Piaggio dealer at six months or 600 miles. And then, uh, then it's every 3,000 miles. That's to keep the 24 month warranty on the bike and the battery. So I'll probably do that for, for the sake of that because it's only about 40 quid to get it serviced at a pleasure. Because I've only got to look it over. There's nothing really to service, is there? When you think about it. It's got regen. Oh, little smiley faces under the 92%. What well, that is. But, uh, yeah. So, We'll see how she goes, but as a work tool, she'll be fantastic. So the NIUM Plus that I've got, that's got a max of 29 miles an hour, 
that is a perfect bike but uh, I'll probably sell that for about 800 quid or something to get my money back on that that way then uh, this bike's only cost me about 500 quid <laughs> I think I'm going the right way. In fact, I'm sure I am. First time I've driven a bike, uh, Peugeot, with the, you know, the vest was have the single swing arm on the front suspension. It's the first time I've driven one now. But yeah. Right, I will catch you up in a. I think there's a bit of traffic here, so I'm going to catch you up in a little bit and we'll chat more about the bike. See you in a bit. Right, we're on. That's brilliant. No. Right, now I'm going to talk about the elephant in the room. I was really annoyed and depressed about this. My brake lever this side, look at it. Have you seen it? It's bent all the way out. It's supposed to be like that. Straight like that one. And it's bent all the way out. It's the elephant in the room is because, I mean, I haven't had an accident for 47 years on, on a bike. And... It happened to me within half an hour picking the bike up. So I picked the bike up at Shepherd's Bush, brand new. I got all the way down to Putney over the bridge, etc. Got myself up to Clapham Common, which is just what you just watched her just then. Now I have got video of it, but I'm not going to show it on YouTube of the accident. Um, but specifically, I mean, it wasn't my fault. I was going along the road at 20 miles an hour and it was a T-junction on the left and the car was at the T-junction waiting to come out I got to about, f must be about 10 yards away from him at 20 miles an hour and for some reason he just decided to come into the road, into the middle of the road and stop so I jammed on my, my, uh, my brakes and just managed to stop just by my wheel touched his front wheel and because of the unbalancing of the, the braking etc I uh, I lost my footing on my left hand side and had to put the bike down on the left but I must have had the uh, turn that way on the uh, handlebar slightly and that brake lever took all the impact of that uh, little down on the floor um, I was uh, I was lucky I had nothing wrong with me uh, he was shocked, I was shocked, just one of them things that happened, but I don't know why he came out into the road. Because uh, I was passing, I mean I got the lights on and everything else, I got my high vis on and everything, but I was just passing and all of a sudden, he just, as I got to there, he just decided to come out. But then he stopped, <laughs> on my path. <laughs> so, he must have seen me at the last minute and thought, oh my god, and then uh, he just stopped, froze. Um, so yeah. Uh, that's the brake lever. Um, I've ordered a new brake lever from uh, from my dealer, I rung Central Bikes up when I got home. Uh, there's no point putting it through the insurance because I pay my 300, 350, he'll pay 300, 350. So we came to a mutual agreement and he gave me a bit more money than, uh, than, uh, than that. So uh, the, the brake lever is ordered and it will get changed when when it comes um, and the stand, the main stand took a little bit but I managed to rub that down and paint it black again with uh, metal paint so yeah nothing untowards then I went on my jolly way and as you can see me now I've more or less got home on the video that's coming up now so I'll leave you to watch the rest of the video but I am really enjoying this bike tatty bye Okay, so there you have it. I'm whom. Sorry, I didn't do any more videos of the bike running. But uh, done 23 miles. I got 44% of the battery left. And a range of another 30 miles if I keep it in sports mode. Okay, behind me. That means it's recouping. One of them three bars at the bottom. You decelerate and it's regen in the battery. But I'll have to look in my manual. Well, thanks for watching. Sorry, it's been the shortest video, really. I was meant it to be a bit longer. But uh, my journey got cut short slightly uh, by an incident. So I won't talk about that now. But uh, yeah, 
and I've got 44% battery remaining, 23 miles, range of 13, so it's ideal for going to work, etc. So it'll be fine. So, thank you very much for watching, I will see you all later. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and look at all the Zondi's videos. We've got 1,500 videos on there on the bikes. 35 for now, this is Manwick signing off.